the lesson for my arrangement of Dr. My Eyes by Jackson Brown. Um, I posted this video about five, six years ago. I'll put the link to the original video in the description. Um, I've had a bunch of people ask for a lesson on this song, so I'm going to do my best to kind of break down the, the basics of it. If you want to purchase the tab, I do have the tab for sale on my website, uh, neilbunker.com. Click on arrangements. You can buy tab for all of my arrangements there. I am terrible with tabs. Um, I just don't think of the guitar in that way. Um, but I'll do my best to be as clear as possible. And uh, yeah, let's dive in. So we're starting off with the, uh, with the piano part, um, which is just an octave F. Um, so we're capo one, so that's an F, capo on the first fret, and then the eighth fret on the A string. And then there's some chords that happen on the off beats over the top of that. The first chord, is an E flat over F chord. So that's barred straight across on the eighth fret uh, on the A, D, G, and B strings. I'm muting that high E. And the second chord is a B flat over F, which is uh, eighth fret on the A and D strings, uh, seventh fret on the uh, G string, and uh, sixth fret on the B string. And all these are with the open string capo to F and then the third chord is an F chord um, and you might recognize that shape as like a C uh, shape but we're just moving that up eighth fret on the A string uh, seventh fret on the D string uh, fifth fret on the G string and sixth fret on the B string so played in context we're playing those chords on the upbeat with an upstroke while we're playing that, those octave Fs. And then the second set of those four bars, um, we're just playing the first two of those chords, the E flat over F and the B flat over F. And that's the whole intro. thing. So we're doing an F power chord, 8th fret on the on the A string, 10th uh, fret on the D string, 10th fret on the G string. I'm not playing the top two strings on that. Then A minor chord, 5th fret on the low string, barred across, and then uh, with our ring and pinky fingers we're playing uh, the uh, seventh fret of the uh, A and D strings. And then a D minor chord, which is a fifth fret on the A string, seventh fret on the uh, D and G strings, uh, sixth fret on the B string. I'm muting both the E strings. And then I'm kind of doing like a blues thing on the B flat chord. Looks like an A, A form with the capo on. Then a similar thing on the F chord. I'm uh, muting the D string, playing an E shape, and then sliding that up to the uh, A string on the fifth fret, the G string on the uh, third fret. just making sure to mute that D string throughout that whole pattern. Let me play the whole thing again. And then the pickup into the chorus is just an octave pattern on the, on the A and G strings, starting on the 8th fret and the 10th uh, fret. F notes, and I'm just walking that down a single fret, E notes, and then the chorus is a D minor, which I'm playing like a, a C, like with the capo would be a C sharp minor, 
So playing fifth fret on the, on the A string, seventh fret on the D string, seventh fret on the G string, and then open first and second strings. And I play this chord two different ways on the recording. There's that one, and then there's also this one. Same chord, just slightly different voicing. Um, this voicing is uh, fifth fret on the A string, third fret on the D string, fifth fret on the uh, G string. Then we're playing that same pattern from the verse. Four. And the hit is just a C power chord. The, the first little breakdown after the uh, first chorus is the B flat over F with the octaves. And then the F chord again, same as the intro. B flat over F again. Then we're back into the verse, which is basically the same, and the chorus again. Um, once you play the chorus the second time, the solo actually starts on an E flat over F. Back to the F chord. Sorry, in the, in the solo section I play the F chord in like an E form and with the capo. So... solo starts happening, um, and I'm just le leaving that low E string ringing out as I play these, these, uh, these figures here. So all this, this solo stuff, I, I kind of improvise different things every time, um, but I've got the uh, tab version on my website that has exactly what I played on the record. But I'll just show you some, some basic ideas of, of what I'm doing there. Um, it's really all just about the muting. We want to keep that low string ringing. Um, and as we're playing everything else, we're trying to mute all the other strings. And it's all just notes from the... the F major pentatonic scale. So the first lick, I'm starting on the uh, 11th fret, A flat, going up to the A on the 12th fret, and then I'm playing the, uh, the 10th fret, the uh, C and F together, hammering that C up to a D on the 12th fret, and then I'm just keeping that low string going. I'm being careful when I'm not playing on the A string to make sure I'm muting that with the tip of my first finger and I'm using the fleshy part of my first finger to mute the, the high strings. And then we get into the uh, some, some alternate voicings for the E flat over F and the B flat over F. The E flat is 13th fret on the D string and I'm muting the A string, 12th fret on the G string, uh, and 11th fret on the B string with the open E. And then the B, B flat over F, I'm playing 12th fret on the, on the D string and I'm using that finger to mute the A. 10th fret on the G, 11th fret on the B string and the open E. Refer to the tab that I've got for sale on my website here. I've got uh, so that part is the same, and then I'm hammering on with the C and the F, hammering onto the G on the on the twelfth fret. Then playing the D, hammering and pulling off again, playing the A again on the A string. Sliding. Um, I'm playing uh, 
the uh, 12th fret on the G string, the 11th fret on the B string with the open E, and I'm using this first finger just to touch the A and D strings just to keep those from sounding. So from the 12th and the 11th I'm sliding up to the uh, 14th and the 13th on the G and the B. And then come back to a bar with my first finger on the uh, on the tenth fret. Then doing that same hammer on pull off, going back down to the A on the A string. And then coming out of the solo, I'm just playing that same. riff from before and then we're back into a chorus and the outro is much the same as the solo um, starts off with a B flat over F and then my E form chord playing the F chord and then we're getting back into this all the same riffs this uh, outro solo. Um, um, so this stuff is all um, I, I got it from like steel guitar players uh, they, the way that they play like uh, uh, they, they'll play a, a major chord with a sixth in it so sixth root and third and then they'll slide it down becomes a dominant ninth chord. So what it actually is, is a uh, just a regular F, F bar chord with an A, but I'm leaving off the D string, I'm muting that with the, with the part of my fourth finger here. So I'm just approaching it from a half step, sliding it on two frets. Which makes it a dominant ninth. We've got a nine, a seven, and a nine. This is that sixth chord again, so it's it's got the sixth instead of the fifth, and when you slide that down two frets, it gives you a dominant ninth. So and I'm just making sure to meet that D string throughout that whole passage. E flat with a D shape, leaving off the high E. So I'm basically playing the uh, E flat and the B flat, and I'm I'm moving the notes on the D string E flat F G. That's the notes from B flat chord. Except now once again I'm muting that D string so it doesn't ring. And the last voicing is one of my favorite voicings for an E form. Nice fat sounding voicing. I'm playing the uh, A note on the 12th fret, the C note on the uh, D string uh, 10th fret, the F on the 10th fret of the G string, a C on the B string on the 13th fret and the open E's. So yeah, that's how I do it. Let me know if there's any questions. Uh, go over to my website, neilbunker.com. You can buy the tabs there. Um, I've got both the F version and an E version, if that's easier for you to read, depending on how you like to read your tabs. Um, those come, come together as a bundle. Um, yeah, make sure you uh, subscribe. I got a bunch more stuff coming. Um, should be a good time. Thanks.